Okay, we're here on the farm uh, ranch of Mark Fix, and we're here with Beth Kading from the Northern Plains Resource Council. Um, we've been hearing a lot about this Otter Creek Coal to China mine. Um, how close is that to you, and where is it? It's probably about 50 or 60 miles up the river. What direction is that here? It'd be to the south. Yeah, point it to south, me. Yeah, to the southwest over here on up the river. And it's, uh, you know, pretty close to Ashland. Now, how does that affect you? Basically, one of the railroad routes that they're talking about would come down the river, you know, across across the river, and it would cut through my ranch. Where where would that happen here? It would go from that that notch that you see in the hill over there. Okay. And then go through to this Gumbo Butte across the river, and they they would cut a big hole through that uh, just below that peak, and it would you know continue on across. It would cross about three miles of my ranch. Huh. Now, how does that affect your your, your cattle operation? It, it'd be hard to continue operating the way I do because I'd have to put in a lot of water wells and uh, the cattle couldn't easily get back and forth across the tracks. The wildlife also would, you know, it'd be hard for them to get across. The other aspect with the Otter Creek mine development too is that they're most likely will affect the water. You know, we're having trouble right now with coal bed methane discharges that are putting salty water into the river. We irrigate out of the river. There, the Decker Mine has a discharge permit into the river. Also, Otter Creek, you know, could very well get a discharge permit to dump water into the river. So the salt levels just continue to go up. And so, you know, our, our viability of our irrigated ground may be at risk too. Well, I can understand why you'd be an interested party here, but Beth, isn't this a relatively small price to pay um, for all the benefits of shipping Montana coal to China? Well, there are no benefits from my perspective of shipping Montana coal to China. There will be a few jobs, but coal strip mining is highly mechanized, so there's not that many jobs. Uh, what we're losing by putting in that strip mine and the uh, railroad that has to go with it are our agricultural people that live in this this part of the country, this part of the state, they have their operations not only impacted, but they probably start going out of business. And we are selling Montana resources from the Otter Creek Mine at such a cheap rate, and the companies that are doing this make huge profits because China's willing to pay lots of money for our coal because their coal is hard to get. Well, we understand there's a lot of pollution in China, and people keep talking about greenhouse gases, but that's their problem then. We send our coal there, and and it's their problem, right? Well, they have very few pollution controls on the plants that they have in China. They're building one plant a day is what I've heard. Uh, that pollution goes up into the atmosphere, and it's been tracked to be back in Montana in about five days. So the pollution from the, that coal burning in China does impact us here in Montana. We're having, uh, in some areas, they're starting to measure the pollutants in the snow. Uh, I know there's been studies in Glacier National Park. Uh, so there's mercury that falls out. Mercury has horrible consequences for humans, wildlife, plants. Um, so wherever this coal is burned, it will impact us. Hmm. Well, it sounds like stripping the Otter Creek uh, little watershed and shipping the coal to China and building the Tongue River Railroad right through Mark Fix's land is maybe not such a good idea after all. That's what Northern Plains Resource Council has been saying for more than 30 years. Okay, well, convince me. Thanks a lot.